everyone welcome back to my channel it's Jasmine and today we're gonna be trying out these two different face tools skincare tools and I've been really into all the skincare tools that are out in the market and bringing like facials back into your home like you can get a professional facial in the comfort of your own home and you can kind of like self teach yourself and educate yourself and use you know tools that professionals use so of course we don't know everything and these tools might not be the exact same that professionals use we also have to be careful and everything and educate ourselves but I like doing everything myself I like doing everything at home so I love these tools that are coming out so um, I'm first gonna use the whitehead remover blackhead remover tool um, it comes with a charger and I just charged it last night and um, I heard that the best one, well, I don't know if it's the best one, but okay, I'm not gonna use that one. It comes with like all these different attachment heads and I'm gonna use like this a second to big one or something. I'm just gonna put it in there. And I guess it takes off your white heads and your black heads. And it's also good to like steam your face, but I don't have a steamer. It also has like um, three levels that you can use. So you just turn the power on and then you do one level, second level, or the third level. I'm gonna stick with one just because I saw a video online and she said that the first one was enough. So she said to just rake it down. Oh, but I really do feel like I need a steam. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna steam my face for a little bit and open up my pores because I feel like my nose pores do really need to be open. But if it does work when my nose is like opened up a little bit more, I'm gonna be so happy because I bought those extraction tools for whiteheads back then and I hated those. I felt like they were way too rough and they made me bleed and they actually made my nose worse. So I really hope that this works. Okay. So I got a little washcloth and I put really hot water on it and I've just been like opening my pores. So I feel like I wanna do more on my nose and I wanna do some around my lip because I do get clogged my heads around my lip area and then I also get cloggage on my forehead and that's pretty much it. The other ones are just bumps that I don't wanna mess with but I noticed that I'm definitely gonna bruise you just because blood is coming to the surface with the suction. It doesn't hurt, it's just gonna look really bad which is annoying because I have work in like an hour so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to just put on makeup okay so I do see that it is taking some things off but it's not taking off everything I wish I had one of those face steamers like one of the steamers that you just have like a portable mini steamer something it's not like it was nothing I don't know how things don't go down that little suction hole that would be gross and really unsanitary if it did <laughs> I think that's it now I look like Rudolph the Red, Red Nose Reindeer and that's what I used to get called in the fifth grade when I would have like this nasty case of like weird winter eczema and my nose just got like this crusty red oozy scab on top of it I don't know what happened that year now I'm just gonna tone and hopefully this goes down in an hour I'm just gonna do a quick little skincare routine I don't have this is a pixie glow tonic it has retinol and it's for preserving our youth and I don't know about you guys but I'm 26 and I already feel like I can like tell my skin is aging and I want to do as much as I can to prevent anything else like I already feel like the wrinkles like you know the smart like face the face what do you call it the face gestures I can already see like wrinkles settling in on my forehead from you know doing that I feel like that's like the worst that I have right now it's like the forehead 
expression lines and I hate forehead expression lines I feel like it always makes you look so much older than you really are because even like teenagers get them but but it's a part of life you know it's a part of life so now I have this vitamin shot hydrating skin booster from physicians formula it doesn't have the ingredients on the bottles but it has hyaluronic acid and I put that afterwards, after the toner. And then I have this other homemade serum that I made. It's just like a bunch of oils and essential oils. So you, I guess you can call it more of like a beauty oil instead of a serum. So I'm just going to mix my day cream, which is this vitamin E. I mean, yeah, it's vitamin E, Derma E um, cream. It's really hydrating but light at the same time and it's perfect for daytime in the summer and the winter and it works perfectly for like your whole body too because it's just the crystal roller I usually give myself a facial facial massage and really go ham but today I just want to just make sure that it goes in so I really love that with the with the crystal roller I can really um, relieve the tension that I have in my face and then I have this Erno Laszlo eye cream. It has a cool little DNA like structure inside. But yeah. Like I said, I usually do eye cream at night. And I usually do the crystal rolling at night. Not every night. But why not show you guys everything that I usually do. And then I also bought this little device. And it also comes with like a charging station and it's just um light it's an rf and ems beauty instrument it has five different lights you can use it on your eyes on your face on your neck i thought that it vibrated which would have been so cool because i want to also buy vibrating like skin tools you know some people say it doesn't work some people say it does work and you know we'll see but i just want to try it for myself the red light is for wrinkles the green light is for dark spots the blue light is for acne and oily skin. The yellow light is to brighten up the skin. The pink is to whiten the skin, which is a little weird. Or it's also, the pink flashing one is also to aid in the permeation of skincare products. So I'm gonna power it on and I'm gonna go to the pink one that flashes. Ooh, okay, so it does warm up. It doesn't vibrate, but it does warm up and you can use it, ooh. Why, I feel like a tingle. And I feel, and I hear like little things. Okay, so it does, it doesn't vibrate, but it does warm up. And you do feel like a little tingle, like a little suction tingly thing. Electroporation, poration, provides a means to transport collagen and hyaluronic acid deeper into the skin. It's a means to achieve higher results with your skincare products without the need for needles. It does feel like it is like tingly like needles, which is so really cool and then the light emitting the light emitting diode LED light energy to provide a painless skincare treatment that plumps up skin by boosting collagen production and treats mild to moderate acne I don't really get like acne but I do get some breakouts some bumps RF energies can be used for patients of all skin types and allows depth of penetration allowing for increased collagen so it's basically to like get deeper into the skin layers to um, produce more collagen and you can also this also has a timer it turns off after 10 minutes and it says that you can use it three times a week for 10 minutes oh I've been doing it wrong it says to slowly start from the bottom to top of the face and from the inside out so I've been doing the inside out but I started middle when I should have started at the bottom I'm gonna do red on my forehead just because that's where my most wrinkles are. This is very, very interesting. I love pampering myself at home. I love it. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for my little for my little demo of these skincare instruments. And I'm definitely gonna keep doing this for the whole month and I'll try to give you guys an update. And my nose, even though it looks horrible right now. It feels really really smooth as well so I can tell that it did get some things off it didn't get all of my whiteheads off 
but I feel like I also need to um, steam my face for maybe 10-15 minutes for it to really really be open and I also want to get a face steamer as well so yeah but my skin feels soft and hydrated and everything so I'm really really happy about that so I just wanted to get back on here and say that my nose is still bruised so it's been like 10 hours I think I did the suction at 7, 7.30 a.m. and it is 5 o'clock in the evening. So yeah, it's been 10 hours and I didn't have any makeup <laughs> when I went to work because I didn't have time. I just had to film the video and go. And usually I'm okay with no makeup. Like when I go to work, it's just like a boring bang. But I look like this the whole day and no one even asked. Like I, I speak to like... 10 or so people every day like no one asked about my nose i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing if they didn't want me to feel bad or if they were just like minding their own business but it's still bruised it doesn't hurt at all it's just bruised because it's suction the suction doesn't feel strong but it still brings a lot of um hey baby it still brings a lot of blood to the surface and it's healing blood so I left a bruise and bruises take like a couple days to clear up. I don't hate this product. I kind of want to see if I can use the thinner head because I used the head that was pretty wide. So I want to use the thinner head and see if I can pinpoint like areas that I want to clean and it won't suction as much and it won't bruise my, my, my face. So that is the update. 